Hi everyone. Before my trip to Prague, I talked uh, about experimenting with napkin, paper napkins and fabric. And this was, was uh, my experiment. I've just taken some fabric I had and started gluing pieces of napkins uh, onto it. My thinking was that I want to cover several of my arginals and so sometimes I want a fabric uh, cover. And I really like uh, working with my napkins and bits of pieces of them. So I started, uh, I have took uh, two or three kinds of uh, paper napkin, started uh, taking pieces of them and gluing them with white glue randomly on this fabric. When I finished and I didn't cover everything, I, I took a acrylic color, uh, okra, and went all around and added some color. So I've worked on a plastic bag because the white glue uh, sometimes uh, go over, it seeps through the fabric, so I didn't want to, to stick to any surface. And it takes a lot of time to, to dry, but I think the results are great. I can uh, put more, more work on it, I can highlight uh, several of the leaves, I can doodle, I can add glitter or shading. Uh, you can do whatever you want once it's, it's dry and I really like it it's very sturdy and it doesn't uh, lose the feel of fabric so I think uh, you get uh, the plus side of both was of the uh, uh, paper napkins and the fabric so I'm going to show you the process uh, on a smaller piece and I'm thinking because I haven't done yet, uh, I haven't done covering any kind of journal notebook with uh, this kind of fabric and it's kind of stiff. I am going to try and cover these two notebooks. Uh, they are uh, something I picked up in my, in my cheap store so I don't care what will happen to it. And it's a good thing to try on, it will uh, give it a more sturdy cover. So this is going to be a, my uh, my next experiment. I don't know if it will. Uh, I can put it inside this video. If not, I'll just do a part two for it. So this is my uh, a piece of fabric. I've cut it uh, in the in mind of doing a cover for this little notebook which is boring so I've picked up several uh, leftover from other projects uh, of uh, paper napkins and I'm just going to start putting down uh, pieces on my fabric of course I forgot to put on glue. I'll uh, bring some uh, small container and we'll continue. I'm back. So, instead of a plastic bag, I've just uh, put a plastic uh, placement under my uh, fabric and I've got here my white glue. It's not diluted, it's just white glue. And I've got here a jar with water and little uh, brush because when I want to take a part of a napkin I will trace around it with my brush and water like this. And now I can take the image out. Without tearing uh, other pieces of the napkin. 
and it doesn't have straight edges so this is it and let's see I'm going to start by taking this square out of the napkin taking glue putting a lot of glue it takes lots and lots of glue because the fabric is just absorbing most of it and now I'm going over it gently I don't want it to tear use a soft brush move uh, from the inside outside and try uh, to work with the, the flat of the paintbrush so it doesn't pull on the napkin it just smooth it over and let's see I think I'm going to take this flower almost dipped it in the glue instead of water Well, I think it has to go over some other pieces, so I'm going to keep it here on the side and let's see what do I want to take. I'm kind of messy right now it's very early in the morning only slept for four hours don't know why everyone is sleeping and I'm gluing away So this is just collaging pieces of napkins like you've seen me do a lot of time just on paper. The added bonus here it's on fabric and it's going to look like it's fabric in the end. Now this piece is just a plain lilac color but as you've seen me do before only on paper I'm going to layer first I'm gluing this piece and then I'm going to put this piece on top 
and it will give more interest. So I still have color, but now I have some design on it. Okay, so I'm going to continue uh, gluing down pieces and I'll come back. I am back and I've glued all over my fabric. Didn't get to use this, it just turned out that most of my colors were uh, green and uh, purple. So it will be left for another project. Now uh, everything is really wet and saturated with glue. Peel off very gently from your, your plastic mat or whatever you are using on, under it and take it uh, somewhere to uh, dry, uh, hang it on something, just don't lay it uh, down. You need all the glue to dry from both sides of the fabric. So I'm just going to put it down on some net I have and I'll come back and see. I haven't planned on it. Okay, I've put it uh, on some kind of net. That way it's going to dry from uh, both sides of the fabric and I'm going to move uh, along to warp to make a cover for these two notebooks I've glued them uh, both and it still needs to dry I can see it's still moving I just used a uh, silicone glue and put it between these two covers of the notebooks. So I'm going to let it dry and then come back and we'll see how <laughs> to cover it because this is the first time I'm doing it. I'll be back. I'm back. So I've got these two uh, notebooks uh, glued together and I've started thinking how am I going to make the cover. Uh, it's kind of a uh, stiff more like a canvas now the fabric and I decided I don't want to tackle uh, putting my fabric uh, over the supposed uh, spine here and I want something like this and then <coughs> my fabric excuse me <coughs> I had this rice paper now this is too thin so I just uh, folded it over, glued uh, to the two pieces, and now I have this for the spine. So I'm going to put in the, my fabric. I just uh, trimmed all the frayed edges with my, uh, my rotary cutter and my metal ruler. So now uh, I've got uh, straight edges. I have a kind of uh, more than I need uh, here but we'll see how it goes as I said this is the first time I'm doing it I'm going to cut this in half because it's not going on the spine so now I've got two pieces that will go something like this first I need to put this on my spine and I want to trim it down already before I'm gluing because it would be easier let's see Well, let's, I'm just going to align it here on the mat. Okay, 
I'm going to put some white glue down. looking from uh, above to see that it matches and flipping it over again so it will be straight here we go So now I'm thinking, do I need to cut it to size and forget about doing it like this because it's very thick. Maybe that's what I should do. I don't know. I'm going to start by, by just gluing this piece uh, here and if I think uh, that I don't want to flip it um, on the inside I'll just cut it to size so I'm going to put down glue and I'll come back I'm back <coughs> and I decided to trim uh, around the edges and maybe in the next one when it's on a hard cover that has more uh, thickness I'll try to fold uh, over the cover uh, I'm waiting for it to dry there is still uh, <coughs> glue here that is uh, still wet uh, because I have I'm not done with decorating my two night notebooks so I'll let it dry and then I'll come back. Just letting it dry. Hi, I'm back and I've added a lace uh, uh, band, less band, <laughs> less string, less band, whatever, to uh, decorate here and to hide the connection between these two uh, elements and i want to add some kind of closure and i'm going for a ribbon and i thought of using uh, this organza frayed one because i really like it and it the color uh, works for me but everything here is straight uh, edged and the frayed look just don't go well here so i'm going to use this uh, satin uh, ribbon and I'm going to just seal it here, I don't want it to fray, a little bit of silicone glue and now I'm going to, I've got this charm, more silicone glue and it moved like this side it's not in the middle okay
don't remember if I still did. Silicon glue, ribbon, charm. So basically this is it, I really like uh, doing it and well I'll be seeing you uh, on the next one when, <laughs> when uh, it's, uh, the cover is dry, it takes a long time for this fabric with the uh, paper napkins to dry and this is it for now, I'll be seeing you with another video quite soon, so bye for now.